our family business, it started off, our father was a commercial builder um, and then had an interest in aged care. So he founded a retirement village in the late 1970s. The first resident moved in in 1980 and we've been going ever since. So that, that business has grown throughout that time. We've grown um, into 616 villas. We're on 120 acres. We service some 800 residents. Um, we're one of the largest, certainly in Victoria, and certainly one of the largest in Australia. So um, it's a business in the retirement living sector that's been going for some 36 odd years, 37 years now. Um, we've added to that with aged care development. So we uh, have an aged care facility next door to the village, which was originally um, there to service the residents of the village Glen um, as somewhere for them to go um, for a continuum, continuum of care. Um, I'm the youngest of, of four children. Um, I can remember the, the Dodge work truck, the tip truck, and um, Dad working incredibly hard, um, you know, weekends, should it be due to weather or school holidays or these sorts of things. Certainly uh, the opportunity was uh, uh, always presented to come and work for him over his school holidays, whether it be here at the village or on a work site, you know, picking up off cuts of timber, etc. But yeah, he instilled an incredible um, uh, focus on, on, on hard work, there's no question, and, and uh, looking back now, uh, you know, it, 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 an incredible strong value of, of uh, the opportunity that he took. We've got our residents that, um, that have peace of mind to know that his family are following him and that's, and I take great great um, pride in that and I take that extremely seriously as I know Damien does and Will as he's here longer. Um, you know, you're, we're here, we're, the, we're the, um, the banner carriers. We are here that when he's not around and that day eventually will come, that we are, it's beholden on us to keep up the standards and to keep up the vision and to make sure that goes on and that's not, um, that's not um, deviated from in any way and it's, um, it's really important that we um, continue with that and, and I really, because our residents are here and they know, and I know underneath it all, you know, you hear of retirement villages that are bought out by um, a conglomerate or a, a, a corporate entity somehow or somewhere along the line and our residents, they don't want that. They love the fact that the owner of the business comes to work every day and he's in his office every day. And they love the fact that um, his, his daughter is here working and now his son is here, is working. It gives them comfort, it gives them security that if something ever happens to him, the business isn't going to be sold and his vision and his ideals are going to continue. And I take that very, very seriously. And I've worked 18 years towards that. Damien has just started on his journey and I know he feels the same way. I knew there was probably going to be an opportunity, certainly the family discussions on uh, not so much succession plans, but just the evolution of us being involved in, in such a large, you know, dynamic industry and growing industry. And, um, you know, there's been plentiful of changes in the past five years with uh, uh, continuum of care, as Joan has mentioned, um, the opportunity for other developments. So. Having said that, um, uh, my father approached me around a year ago and said, "You know, I think it's time um, if you if you, if you feel and and it just was a it just was a right time." Um, I, yes, I've thought over the past twelve months. You know, should it have been ten years ago? But for whatever reason, um, that, that that didn't occur. Um, that gives me great uh, ambition now to say, well, okay, I, I um, you know, taking it, you know, with full responsibility of, of, of what my role is. That there's, it is a huge industry to, to to undertake in the sense of where do I start in my in my knowledge of the aged care industry. Um, sales is a, is a good progression for me, dealing very intimately in in a consumer's needs and delivering a product for their needs, and it's obviously another layer of. of of emotional attachment, as Jane's saying, where you know I'm dealing very you know with with elderly people and and their lifestyle and their care and their health and their well-being. We're a family business. We have a board of directors. Um, we are we are going in a direction that our founder 
who happens to be our father wants us to go in, we will um, be respectful of that and mindful of that always, um, to be have to kowtow, if I can put it like that, to a board, uh, another board of directors or shareholders. Um, it wouldn't be something I would, I would want to contemplate. Um, and I know, as I say, it gives surety to our residents and to us and to staff members also. It's not, this business just isn't about us, it's about, about the family, it's about um, our staff that we have here. Um, you know, we are, if I can, we are, a, you know, I always talk about our Village Glen family. We have the Jacobson family, but there is a Village Glen family and they're not, they're not too far below the first one, let me tell you. I mean, a retirement village is a retirement village. I mean, it, the thing is across what we offer and what other, other businesses, be it shareholder owned or, or privately owned, are the same, but there's, there's the intangible and that's what I'm talking about to have. And that's what a family business brings. It's what Chaz brings, it's what I bring, it's what Damien brings. I've been absolutely thrilled that he's joined the business, not just that, but on the board level as well. Um, I mean, I guess for all those years, I was the only family member here. It was a family business, but kind of we weren't going any further with the rest of the family. So yes, I worked here to make it, strictly speaking, a family business, but really was it. So, but by Damien joining, and, and that's been a lot of influences um, behind the scenes with, with our father. So. Um, PwC and David Smorgan and Mary um, being instrumental in that um, and the work that we've done with them throughout the last couple of years. Um, you know, I saw Damien join the board first of all and then, and then came the talk about him joining the business and the sales position became available and it was a great, it's a great way to learn the business to come in at that level. Um, and you know, it's, he's, he's, he's um, ingrained in lots of areas of the business and he's got a lot to learn, but he's, he's certainly, you know, he's well on the way. And it's, you know, from my personal point of view though, I feel that, you know, that the, the, sh the load is shared and I've loved that, not just from a business point of view, but from a family point of view. It's, it's been fabulous to have another family member who I trust um, and I, you know, and I've got respect for and love that I can also share, you know, we talk all the time. We, we, we confide in each other all the time. And it's from my point of view, who's really been the only family member here for so long, it's just been, you know, a relief really. And um, just, just so wonderful to have it. So from my point of view, I, I, I see it as part of my role as trying to get the next generation through. And Damien's picked up that that um, mantle as well. And us um, in the business, our, um, our board, our COO, we've got a CFO who is also extremely um, um, supportive of, of, st of family coming into the business. And basically, Chaz has said that, you know, when a position becomes available, we'll look at family if that if that doesn't work out or it's not something that's attractive or or the you know the skill set doesn't suit well you know we'll, we'll, we'll go out elsewhere but you know this really um, particularly since Damien joined us a year or so ago we're starting to um, you know as I say I've had one of my children and a couple um, work over the journey but it's really now truly a family a family business and it's it's wonderful the more the merrier as far as I'm concerned.